We are now joined in the studio by an amazing group. Syzygy, say hello. Hey. Hey, welcome. First time in the WX studio. What a treat. We're here, <laughs> we're here to listen to uh, a recent song that you just released, Unreal 2, on the anniversary of the first release of that song, which is super awesome. But first, I think we're due for some introductions, if you mind, wouldn't mind going around and, and saying who you are. Sure. Um, I'm Lou, or Lucy, I go by both. Um, I'm the singer, and I use they, them pronouns. I'm Max, I play guitar, and I use they, he pronouns. I'm Corey, I'm the drummer, I use he, they. I'm FJ, um, I'm the bass player, and I use he, him pronouns. Awesome, welcome you all. So, we're about to listen to this single, but could you tell me a little bit about the history of this group? And, yeah, we'll start with that. Go, go, Lou, go. <laughs> um, okay. Um, well, I started Syzygy last year, at the beginning of the year. Um, it's been through a couple of members, just different interests, different people wanting different things out of it. Um, but we landed with this group um, the beginning of this semester yeah. um, when FJ came to IU. And it's been going pretty well ever since with all of us, <laughs> I guess. Yay. Awesome, yeah. yeah. And with the four of you all together, what has been the growth within the band? Like, what have you guys done together? Played shows together? It's released? been a lot. Yeah, okay. we, yeah. We've played quite a few shows. Um, yeah. We've written or, a lot of new music, yeah. too. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think like, our whole set is almost all original songs now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's just kind of crazy. Awesome. Yeah. And you yeah. have a show tonight, is that correct? Yeah, we do. Okay, awesome. <laughs> I think we should give the people a little taste of who y'all are by just going ahead and playing the song. Any any thoughts about this before? Obviously, we'll talk about it after, but any thoughts about it before we get into it? It's cool. <laughs> and, and it's cool. And it's the, so the song was originally recorded differently, but then we switched it up entirely when I think when I started. Yeah. In the band. Right. Yeah, I think. That's I think right. it was this yeah. semester. Yeah. And so then, like, we just wanted to give the people the like live version. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I thought that was like that's a cool little aspect when you like learn that about the song. Awesome. Yeah, it was like we we decided to change it for a show, and then we played it that way, and then we were like, well, we should record it that way because. Everybody likes Pretty it. Pretty good. Everyone <laughs> likes it that way, so, yeah. Awesome. Well, we'll hear the single. Um, everyone, this is Unreal 2 by Syzygy. Enjoy.
And we're back after listening to Unreal 2 by Syzygy. How does it feel to, to hear it on the radio? Unreal. It's fun. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what? It's wild. I'm geeking so hard right now. <laughs> no, it's so great. If, Lou, you wouldn't mind giving us a little explanation of, of to what the song's about, that'd be amazing. Yeah. <laughs> so this song, we did release it before, like a year ago. And so I wrote it, I don't even know, a while ago. It was maybe like last summer um, that I wrote the song. And <laughs> it's kind of funny, but it's about an experience I had with a friend of mine who <laughs> who took um, psychedelics and then oh. told me I wasn't real for like a month. Um, he It was like a lot of mental stuff. He's fine now. Great. But I wrote a song about it. <laughs> so this song is like both about just like how people describe being on like psychedelic drugs and then also just the experience of like the aftermath of that and how it can mm. mess with someone's perception of reality. Yeah, great. How does it feel when you're performing this song live to to know it's about someone who could hear it and have thoughts about it? Um, well, I mean, he knows <laughs> that I okay. wrote the song. I don't think he really cares because it's kind of like we just laugh about it now. It's, mm-hmm. it's like fine. But um, I don't know. I think it's interesting because people... I don't think people think of that when they when they hear this song necessarily. And, like, we can see what playlist the song is on. Mm-hmm. Um, and people will put it to playlists like stargazing or, like, <laughs> <laughs> laying in the grass and stuff like that. And it's, like, it's just interesting how people perceive the song versus what it's actually about. Right. Yeah, it always takes on a meaning you never expect, depending on who's listening to it. What was the, the process of recording it this time with all of you? Um, yeah, so we just did it in my basement just because... Mm. I live in a house of a bunch of audio people, so we have a lot of gear, and we have, like, two and a half drum sets in the one house, so <laughs> we got lots of gear. So I was like, we could do it at, like, IU facilities, but it's a whole process, and I also felt like it wasn't really necessary. Um, so I was like, why don't we just do it in the basement? My drums are already there. So we just set up mics. I borrowed some of my roommate's mics and my roommate's interface and just set everything up on my computer. Um and just had the one amp in the laundry room, another amp in the office, drums in, like, the main room, and just recorded all that and then did vocals separately. And, yeah, it didn't take that long. Let Um, me tell you, (laughs) an amp in a laundry room was very interesting because every, like, five minutes I'd be like, Corey, you sure the amp's not going to pick up the sound of the dryer going whoosh, 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 We paused it. I thought we paused the dryer. We did. No, we did, but then your yeah. roommate came in. Oh, yeah, he was like, it. I just got to grab my stuff. And we're like, all right. All right, cool. But, yeah, it was it's just like, I, I like it because it feels like it fits our vibe of just kind of, like, doing it ourselves and, like, mm-hmm. not even, like, worrying about having to rely on other things or other people. Just like, well, we have the tools. Let's just do it. And I think it came out pretty good, so. Yeah. When y'all were revamping this song to play it live, was that an intentional thing? Like, we need to make this more high energy, or is it just like the nature of y'all's musicianship lent it to being a more energetic song? I feel like, well, like both. Yeah, I mean, originally we just sped up the entire song we played mm. it live because we are playing like house shows and stuff, and no one wants to listen to a slow song at a house show. Um, but then this year we decided to do like the slow part and like build up to like the faster stuff. But it's like a tease. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Everyone's like, whoa. And then you're like, so I'll just like sing the verse twice. You said, yeah. And we're like, yeah. And you're like, <laughs> okay, <it>. cool. <laughs> you know. No one can really tell, you know. No. At least, I mean, the well, now they know. <laughs> now they know. <laughs> you let it out, so. Well, it's funny. <laughs> cool. Yeah. What's been y'all's experience in the Bloomington like house sh- house show scene in general? Honesty is appreciated. I'll yeah. take. Um, I feel like it's. I mean, when when we first started, the house show scene wasn't as big because after COVID, like all the house venues disappeared. Everything had to shut down because, obviously, stuffing like 150 people into a garage is not COVID safe. No. Um, but as it's opened up, it's it's been cool to see the music scene come back to life, kind of mm-hmm. because I think. Like, when Syzygy first started, it was just a lot s- smaller, the scene. Like, it was hard to get in. Right. We could only really play shows in, like, bars because that's all there was. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. I feel, like, nice I, feel like, I feel like a big thing with the house shows, too, is that there's a lot more, like, fan engagement. Yeah. Like, when we play shows at bars and stuff, you have people, like, standing around, and they're, like, paying attention, kind of. 
Mm -hmm. But, like, when you're at a house show, everyone's engaged because that's what they're there for. Right. And so you get to, like, I love, uh, especially during one of our songs uh, that's a cover, I'll go out and mosh. (laughs) (laughs) Because I, like, nothing matters more to me than, like, seeing them feeling the music that we're playing. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. I think, I mean, for me, like, because I joined last semester and I did, like, three shows that were all, not all bars. Two of them were bar shows and one of them was that full bloom fest um right yeah we got we got to play before it got shut down which we is did. pretty cool because we played <laughs> early so that was nice um but that was also really small because it was like the beginning of the show right. but it was just like kind of like okay whatever you know we're mostly playing to just like the other bands mm-hmm. and that was about it and then this semester when we played our first house show i was like oh wow this is like actually having people that are there to see us and like singing mm-hmm. the songs and like mm-hmm. i just think that was amazing um Seeing people sing, yeah. like the lyrics that like we wrote, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. It's totally. so cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Mm-hmm. You guys identify as a queer rock band based mm-hmm. out of Bloomington. Do you think you experience treatment by other bands or, or fans that might be different because of of that, or do you feel like you've created a space for? for other queer musicians. <laughs> we <laughs> I feel like we've definitely created a space. There has been an issue with like people love to come up to us and say, Oh my god, you girls are so cool and neither Lou and I are girls. So <laughs> we have no that's girls. That's the only issue. But it's n- it's never like intentional or anything. Like no one has like malicious intent with that. That's the only like problem we've really run into. But yeah. it's not you know. Yeah. Yeah, I just think it's like interesting how it's just everybody just kind of like assumes I guess. And it's like sometimes they're really busy, so like as an audio person, like if I'm running sound I probably will not think to ask people for pronouns because I'm thinking of like a hundred other things Mm -hmm. but like it is important and it means a lot for like the artists to like be like hey like I just want to like like talk to you in the right way I want to um like identify you correctly if I need to get your attention so it's like it's an important thing and that a lot of people don't think about so Mm -hmm. you kind of just like cringe and then laugh later (laughs) yeah and I feel like we are like creating a space more for that because before Syzygy was started, I didn't know of any, like, queer-specific bands, mm-hmm. and I don't, I mean, after, like, uh, QSU had the Out Loud event, we saw more queer bands, but we definitely were one of the first, and I think just, like, sharing our pronouns when we're, like, giving interviews, or we're, like, even, like, <laughs> introducing ourselves at shows, um, and before at shows, I'll say, like, we are not a girl band like there are no girls in our band mm-hmm. and everyone's always like Woo. We, get, we, get, <laughs> yeah, we get good reactions yeah. from that and I think it's it's helping other bands to feel more comfortable like talking about their own queerness when we openly identify that way yeah right awesome yeah. what's been the the best thing about the four of y'all working together any funny memories or stories that you might I just have think every time that I mean, like, it's, it's, like, a bittersweet thing, but, like, literally, the truth. But, like, every time that we just, like, rehearse or whatever, I always have to be, like, so what were we doing? Or, like, <laughs> what song are we doing next? Because we'll just, like, we just, like, are good friends, so we just mm-hmm. talk all the time and, like, diverge the conversation all the time, which is obviously good and bad because I'm, I'm like, very productive, so I'm, like, we got to make sure we get this song done. Yeah. <clears throat> but it's, like, it's fun because at the end of the day, like, we're all still friends, and so I feel like drama of being in a band is not usually affecting us Mm -hmm. because like we're just hanging out like we hung out last night and like watched movies and stuff and didn't do any music so it's like fun to just like be people and a band yeah so that's been my favorite Mm -hmm. except for five guys max was saying because we just had like a weird interaction with the guy at five guys (laughs) i'd love to hear that that story (laughs) it was it was like a blockhouse show last semester yeah we were hungry so we went to kirkwood to go get five guys and there was a really long line whatever so we were waiting for our food and this random guy came up to us asking to use our phone Mm -hmm. i said no and then Corey i was like yeah sure (laughs) i was like i looked over and i was like dude um, so he took the phone. He tried to call someone, but I don't know. He if never the hit. Person, di- he never, never hit, hit like the, the call, call button. button. He would just like type it, and yeah. then he would show us, and he'd be like, "They're not answering." And we'd be like, "Oh, I'm really sorry." And then yeah. he just went on this whole thing about how I don't even know what was going on. And he, he, he talked it. really quietly, yeah. and it was a really busy like 
crowd in the restaurant, so it was really hard to hear anything he was saying. Mm -hmm. And we were just trying to leave yeah. because we were hungry, and it was kind of freaking me out. <laughs> what did he say at the end? It was something about... He just said something like, like, be happy, play basketball. Oh, yeah. Or something that like that. And he told True. us to remember that. As yeah, we were and he, 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 and was he like, did. And you yeah, did. Yeah, he did. And we actually, we do he play like, basketball. So. At, one, at, one, <laughs> at one point, he, like, said something and laughed to himself, and he was like, if my wife was here, she'd be laughing. Yeah, it was... <laughs> and we were like, cool, man. And then there was someone that texted me. They're like, oh, by the way, someone I think has, like, a weapon at Kirkwood. Be careful. And I was like, what is going on? Was that the, on? Same, yeah, that was the same no. night? Same night. That's right. So then we like Yeesh. ran back to Blockhouse. And we were like, guys, you're not going to leave what happened. Um, but we just have, like, I mean, it's, I, fun. it's just, <laughs> it, I, that's something that I like about Bloomington is that there's just always exciting stuff going that on. Was exciting. Yeah, it was exciting and nothing bad, like, nothing bad came fine. of it, yeah, it which is weird. we're lucky, but it's like fun to just like have these funny experiences. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes at the shows, those are like chaotic because mm -hmm. we're all like, okay. We got this. And then we'll be halfway through the set, and we're like, okay, what's next? Like, what yeah. is the next song? Oh, because all of us get, like, like, none of us nervous. Remember. And we're like, okay, okay, what's the set? What's the set? And so, like, I understand, like, as a musician, why they have the pieces of paper up there. <laughs> yeah, we never do that. We it makes so guys. much We always sense. just look around and go, what's next? And then Lou just gets out their phone, and they're like, <laughs> yeah. oh, yeah, this song. We're like, oh. That's actually very impressive that you guys do not have <laughs> set lists. But we probably should. I think we did like last semester. We just kind of gave up. And then yeah, we just it was too much work. Every yeah. time. So. <laughs> but yeah. Cool. What's been your favorite show that you've done together? Do we each? I feel like we all have different answers. I, my favorite show so far was when we played at the Funk Fortress. Mm -hmm. um, that was fun. Yeah, that was so much fun because it was like the Halloween show. And like a cool, interesting thing for me was like that Funk Fortress show. I attended as a fan last year. Oh, wow. So it was, like, Full something circle. like me and my friends, like, we got real excited to come up to see that show. And then, like, playing at it, it was just, like, a surreal experience. You're, like, I'm on the stage where I was, like, keeping people off of because they were moshing last <laughs> there year. There was, like, so. no space between the stage and the band, so. <laughs> yeah. I was sitting in rent in someone's one, way. <laughs> one person, like, leaned forward a tiny bit and hit your mic stand. We were, like, no. Yeah. Yeah. I think for me, I would say it was the Our Orbit Room show this mm -hmm. semester was really good. We did, like, a fundraiser for, oh, yeah. like, local abortion rights. Um, and uh, Raised a lot of money, I see. Yeah, what was yeah. the students for, something. what was the, the IU organization? Students, oh, for students for Choice. Or Hoosiers, Hoosiers for Choice. Hoosiers for yeah. Choice, yeah. yeah. So that was really fun. That was, like, our first show as a band. That was before FJ even joined. We just needed a bass player for that show. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and it was just really it was like the first time for me that i actually like saw people that weren't just like in the other bands that mm -hmm. were like coming to see us mm -hmm. and we had the all these people line. tell us and there was the there was board. a line outside to get in because oh, we reached awesome. capacity like before we even came on and so just like that feeling was amazing for me have just been like oh my god we're like a band yeah yeah um yeah I really liked our dead end show, as a house show. Yeah, because that it was so fun because we opened with Cake Emoji, which has been out for like a bit, mm -hmm. and it was really cool because we opened with it and then like everyone was singing it. They, they yeah. all knew all, all the, the words. words. It was it was insane. So and there was like a really high energy crowd, so that was yeah. really fun. That's awesome. Yeah, I was gonna say the same. <laughs> the dead end was really fun. It was like. It was like the first real house show we've all played together as a band too, and so it was just kind of like shocking that like those kind of shows exist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> Like, like sure. people want to come and see us. It's not just, like, whoever happens to be at the bar. Mm -hmm. And, like, people mm -hmm. know our music. Like, they were waiting for us to do a show like that. Yeah. So it was really cool. That's awesome. Well, it's so great to hear that you've had a lot of cool experiences at different venues. Mm -hmm. We've got a minute left, but what can we expect from you all in the future? Well, we're currently, <laughs> like, recording and mixing a batch of songs that we think is going to be an EP, uh -huh. which is going to be fun. Unreal 2 is, like, the single to, like, tease it. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, so we're finishing that up and hoping to have that out, like, beginning of next semester. Yeah. Um, awesome. Which is really fun. And we're just, like, constantly working on new songs. Like, I think we debuted our newest song last weekend yes. that we wrote, like, the two days before. <laughs> so we're just, like, constantly, like, in a cycle. We mm -hmm. have a show tonight also. True. That's yeah. Cool. yeah, come, Greenfest. It's at show the Right out. House. If you if you want the address, message one of the bands on Instagram because we can't give it out. But <laughs> Probably smart, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Where can the people find you on Instagram? Syzygy Official X. Awesome. And, and S-Y-Z-Y-G-Y. Yep, perfect. <laughs> Official 
like official. official. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then real. And on TikTok. Yeah. And, and on, on TikTok. TikTok. Well, on TikTok we're Syzygy band. Oh, okay. Syzygy band on TikTok. Good to know. My bad. My bad. <laughs> Syzygy and all streaming platforms. Mm-hmm. Yep. Awesome. Well. This is all the time we have for today, but I really appreciated you guys coming on to maybe my last show of the semester. Mm -hmm. To all of you out there, thank you for tuning in. Please, if you're inclined, go stream Unreal 2. It's a great song, and it was so great to hear from these people. Uh, Everyone, this has been Growing Pains on WIUX. I'm here every Friday at 3 p.m. If not next Friday, I'll be back next semester. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great finals week, and enjoy the rest of your day.